welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on my whip. To show off my whip, it's a 2017 Toyota Camry SE. And today we're going to be doing transmission fluid change. So let's get this show on the road. First step, have a jack. It's right there. I got myself a three ton heavy duty jack. Second step, locate the jack point. I'll show you exactly where mine is. It's right there. I'm going to even point to it with my key. Right there. It usually looks like that. It's like a dip. And third step, have a pair of jack stands. And there is a jack one right here, which I believe it's already there. Boom, it's already on it. So let's get the show on the road. What you want to do for transmission fluid change, which is what I'm doing in this video, is you want to make the car as level as possible. So you don't want it to be too high so that it's not giving you the accurate amount of, amount of fluid because transmission fluid is different fluid, engine oil fluid, sorry. So for engine oil, you can just do it however you want to. But for transmission, it's got to be as level as possible. So I believe this is as level as I could get it. Now the reservoir drain is going to be under the car, the drain plug, but the fill plug is going to be behind this, this right here. So I have to remove these two bolts so I can get access to the plug, which is hidden right there. I'll show you right after. Boom. Two bolts came out. This guard should come off like butter. There it is. It's hidden, but that's the plug. This is WS, world standard. Speaking of which, I need to get that from my house. Now why is it staying like this though? There must be another, there must be another bolt hidden here somewhere. Just have to go get in the house. These are 10 millimeter bolts, by the way. 10 millimeters. For this, I bought six quarts of this ATF WS, world standard. And I got a little quart and gallon fluid pump right here. Let me turn off this light and see if it's thing is anything. Right there. Quart and gallon fluid pump. All you do is put this inside the container. And that's what's going to go feed into that little drain hole right there. Which I took out with this. Look at that. 24 millimeters. 24 millimeters, by the way. That is the drain hole that you use an Allen wrench for. And then when you take out the fluid from that, then there's a little bit, like a little straw that goes in, into that, that you have to remove with the same Allen wrench. So let's get that done. Let's drain this transmission. There we go. And down she will come. Lovely transmission fluid, baby. Woo. Wow, it's so small. How oh, dark that thing is, man. Now you see it's barely dripping. So now there's gonna be a little straw you have to remove using a smaller Allen wrench. And I'm gonna go find that right now, remove it, and then the ladder of the transmission fluid will come out. And then all we do is fill and we're good to go. So using the same wrench that I used to take out the actual drain plug, you can shimmy it in there and find the little straw that I was talking about. Because I know two quarts is supposed to come out of this transmission encasing right here. So thank God I found it. Goodness, there's no space in here. There it is. You see that straw right there? The little green straw, that's exactly what I was talking about. I'm just gonna let this stop dripping and uh, hopefully that won't be too long. You know what, I think I have to remove it, huh? Dang it. A little, little green straw. Such a pointless straw too. Why, why does this need to be here? Tell me. It's just to make this job harder, isn't it? All right, to measure how much came out of the transmission, which isn't, which isn't all of it. It's gonna be a little bit. 
we're going to use an old five quart gallon and this right here i've had for a while just chilling in my garage so let's see how much it is and we can just see from the stickers right here all right gotta put this drain plug back in there the straw is back in its place it was dripping very very slowly so we're good to go no leaks and i'm gonna put it in by hand first and then drop it in there with the wrench just tighten it snug one more turn yep there it is hand tighten it then i gotta wipe this thing so it's fully dry you can see right there that it went right at the two quart mark so all i'm gonna do is place two quarts of this world standard fluid inside the drain i mean the fill plug on the left side of the car i'm gonna use this i've never used one of these before so it's gonna be a nice experience and after that just run the car 10-15 minutes on the highway it should be good to go that's it just want to record how it's supposed to be done but my thing is in low battery so that's how you do it i have it sideways because after some point it just stops it just stops getting the fluid so i, I have to do this but anyways you're literally just pressing down and allowing all the fluid to get in I apologize for not doing any of the recording, but for my first time using this little fluid transfer pump, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, you have to be really intuitive with how you want to use little small ports. Good thing I brought three, because if I only brought, th brought two, I, I think I would have not put enough fluid. Anyways, here we go. We got one, two, these are fully empty. And we got a third port right here that I put a little bit more into the car than just two ports, just because so much drip while I was trying to test this thing out. So now that it's two ports, let's get in the car. And we're just gonna run it. And let's just see how it sounds when it's running. All right, 32,000 miles. Since I'm gonna keep this forever, I want this to be done every, I want it to do it every 30,000, so I'm already kinda of late. But, here we go. Let's turn on the car. Cool, cool, cool. I remember when I was looking through, the whole time there was no, there was no fluid leaks, so that's what matters. And at this point, you're just gonna to wanna to change between all the gears a couple of times. I'm gonna do it twice. Up, down, up, down. Yeah, just gonna let it run. Gonna put the whole car back together slowly and uh, should be good to go. That's pretty much it for this video. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. I got another video coming up with this car where I'm gonna do an oil change on it. I didn't have time today. So I'm gonna do it another day. It should be a lot easier than a transmission fluid change because all you gotta do is pop the hood, put the fluid in there instead of sideways over here next to the left tire. But. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.